Hi guys, how are you guys doing? I hope you're all doing well. Um, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. So on today's video, I have a speed review of my Kira convertible crossbody bag. So um, I got this uh, bag on April, end of April. Uh, so if you haven't seen the unboxing with this bag, I will link it in the eye above and um, check it out. Uh, so yeah, so with this bag, it's lambskin leather. I will insert the measurements on the screen right now. And um, it's very big and roomy, guys. So if you have been watching my channel for a long time, you guys know that I always gravitate to a smaller bag. But this is the biggest bag I think I have um, acquired lately. Do I regret buying it? No, definitely not. Um, this is lambskin, as I mentioned. And it hasn't scratched, guys. It don't have a single scratch on this bag. It's durable. I was surprised because I heard that lambskin usually scratch fairly easily. And I do take care of my bag. I do make sure that I don't, um, but I don't baby them. I, like, you know, I'm good with wear and tear with my bags. Uh, and you guys know that uh, with my previous bag, I always tell you guys, you know, there's scratch and stuff like that. I'm fine with that. But this one has not scratch, which is I'm very, very happy about it. Um, I, I use this fair bit. So I got this on April. So May, June, July, August. Um, four months. Fairly. Um, usually I would wear it on the weekend. Actually, I don't usually, usually use this um, on an everyday basis for work because I always carry a big uh, tote with me so there's no point of me carrying too much stuff yeah so well uh, when i got this i got this for 40 percent off in nordstrom um this color never goes on sale but if you watch my video you will see that the first color that i got which is white has damage on it so when i returned that they actually price match this one to the white one so I'm very happy with that. I think I got a really good deal. The only complaint I have with this one, because I'm really short, so I'm five foot tall. If you're new here, I always tell you guys that I'm short. But if you're new and you uh, haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. But um, I'm five foot tall and the strap itself is very long for me to do crossbody. So it's always going to be in shoulder. It's very comfortable in the shoulder, but I like crossbody uh just you know to get my hands free and i don't like it falling off my um shoulder but this has a, a leather straps in it to make it comfortable and um it looks weird on me when i put it on crossbody because it's way too long but i think if i really want to i can put a clip or something inside so that it would shorten it but i haven't done that my thing and another complaint that i have with this bag is the magnet it's really, really strong and it scares the crap out of me when I try to open it. See? Oh. And I'm scared that I'm gonna rip the letter here. So, yeah. But I put a tape. I think I'm gonna have to put more tape in there. Uh, that's, that's, this just scares me because it's a soft letter. But it hasn't happened yet and I don't think I, I can see anything that's pulling. So, which is good. So, maybe I'm just crazy. My hardware is not scratch at all. The TT there, it's not scratch at all. Um, it's very roomy, guys. So yeah, and it fits your regular iPad, this size iPad. Let me just show you guys my iPad, my ratchet iPad case. Yeah, so it's very roomy. If you're a person that likes to carry a lot on an everyday basis, this will be good for you guys. It would fit a um, full size wallet as well. Oh. It never, like, I've never seen a color transfer. But again, as I mentioned, I use it as a shoulder bag. So most of your top doesn't really transfer, right? So I never use it as a crossbody. So that's probably why it doesn't have color transfer. And I don't put it down anywhere when I'm carrying it. So I'm very, this is the only bag that I always, it's always on my lap. It's always in my shoulder because I'm worried that um, because of the soft leather that it would transfer like you know any dirt would transfer to it but i haven't really seen any my word about this bag is the corner wear at two right so this one but as you can tell guys there is no corner wear at all then i'm actually considering getting the smaller version of this in the white color or maybe that's a bad idea because if it's white and it's smaller than it's a crossbody bag for me and then i'll end up with a color transfer but 
if I end up getting that, I will let you guys know. So yeah, this is beautiful and a good find for me. And I really, really love this bag. Uh, it's not something that I gravitate all the time because it's big. But I think this is going to stay in my collection for a long time. Yeah, so guys, that's it for this video review. And um, if you're new here, please consider subscribing and um, hit the like button if you like this kind of video. And um, for all my friends who are hanging out with me today, I really do appreciate you guys. And I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye!